Today I'd like to show you how to install, configure, and deploy Assembla's new FTP tool. To get started, add the FTP tool to your Assembla workspace from the Admin Tools page. A new FTP tab should appear, under which you'll see Add a new server configuration. Enter whatever you want for server name, but stick to alphanumeric characters and use the underscore for space. Before adding the server address and path, I'd recommend firing up your favorite FTP client and logging in to your server. If you're like me, you'll save a lot of time if you clear the stored password and enter it again, instead of assuming you actually remember what it is. Use your FTP client to create the directory into which you'll deploy your files. The directory has to exist before you first run the FTP tool, and it has to be empty. The server address is entered as a domain name or IP address. Protocol is either FTP or SFTP. Remote path is for that empty directory you created. If you're not sure of the full path, copy it from your FTP client. Pay special attention to forward and trailing slashes as shown in the example. Next, enter login and password for your FTP account. Don't bother with advanced settings unless you run into problems. If you have more than one type of repository for this workspace, select the one you want. For repository path, enter the folder you want deployed. For the root folder, just leave this field blank. Finally, select the deploy frequency on commit, hourly, daily, weekly, or manually. Save by pressing update, and it's time to deploy now. Notice the results if you refresh your browser. My FTP client shows my files have been successfully deployed, as does my web browser. Pressing Deploy Now again tells me the latest revision has already been deployed, so there's nothing to do. After my next Modify and Commit, Deploy Now does what you'd expect. To roll back to a prior revision, just enter the number here and deploy again. Setting the deploy frequency to on commit means that every commit to your repository will trigger an update to your FTP server. The FTP tool can save you a lot of time and effort. Check it out, and thanks for watching.